Hey guys, today I will share my hands-on experience on Red Magic 9 Pro and I have been using this phone for better part of a week and I am absolutely loving it. In all honesty, Red Magic 9 Pro has all the latest and the greatest hardware and software specs for the year 2024. You will see what I mean in a bit. Quick disclaimer, this is by no means a sponsored promotional video. Views, thoughts and opinions expressed solely belong to me, but anyone. It comes in a silver slash gray colored box. You get a phone, that's very obvious. USB-C to USB-C charging cable, SIM ejector pin, documentation, surprisingly a low profile clear case for absolutely free. So why not? Might as well keep it. Even comes with an 80 watt charger, which you typically don't see with the modern smartphones from the likes of Apple, Samsung and whatnot. Thanks to the corporate greed slash money heist, that's a 50 to 80 bucks serious savings right there. And you don't have to worry about buying a separate charger anymore. Let's talk about the aesthetics. It comes in three colors, sleet, cyclone and snowfall. Sleet comes with 12 GB RAM and 256 GB memory. On the flip side, Cyclone and Snowfall comes with 16 GB RAM and 512 GB memory. I bought the Cyclone color phone. It got a super massive AMOLED display with a display size of 6.8 inch. It's bezel-less, full screen FHD+. Plus. The more, the merrier. 93.7 screen to body ratio thanks to the UDC technology aka under display camera making it a best bang for your buck. Display resolution is 2480 by 1116. Speaking of resolution, let me know what's your New Year's resolutions in the comment section below. All right, moving on. It got 1600 nits peak brightness with a tough Corning Gorilla Glass and an incredible 120 hertz refresh rate thanks to the remarkable industry standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. Screen also houses an in-display optical fingerprint sensor and works perfectly fine. On the flip side, back panel is made of glass and is super glossy. Carbon fiber highlights and a slight texture is aesthetically pleasing and super sexy in my opinion. Back also houses three cameras, LED flash and a RGB cooling fan which are all sitting flush with the back glass panel. The front is flat and so is the back. Yay! Front or back, it doesn't matter. Phone lays down, super flat on a flat surface. Not just that, it stands on its own without any support. Also houses a RGB light strip that makes up the numbers 09 that represents the 9th gen model from Red Magic. It's funny that I mistaken it for some Morse code on my first look. On top, it houses a speaker, IR blaster and a 3.5 mm headphone jack. The left side contains a vent, right side consists of top and bottom capacitive touch triggers with RGB lighting, air vent, volume rocker, power button and a super bright red switch for game space launcher and a gaming microphone. Bottom is pretty standard and houses a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, stereo speaker and a microphone. It has an aviation grade aluminum metal frame. And it's tough and durable and weighs just 229 grams. Insides, well, it houses NFC underneath the back glass panel right next to the LED flash. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3, dual nano SIM support, GPS, 5G, and a lot of lot of sensors. Accelerometer, gyro, ambient light sensor, proximity sensor, sensor hub, and whatnot. Battery. It has got the biggest battery ever for a flagship smartphone to this date. It's the mother of all the smartphone batteries on the planet Earth and any parallel universe slash metaverse to this date. 6500 mAh dual cell battery. The battery usage is way more optimized thanks to the newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. It goes without saying, juice is worth the squeeze. It gives enough Kool-Aid juice for your overextended, overstretched, long and hard gaming halls. It also supports fast charging with PD 3.0, comes with an 80 watt charger. Its charging speed is freaky fast and does 0 to 100 in just about 35 minutes. How cool is that? You can set up a bunch of charging kickback music tones that fires up as soon as you plug in a USB-C cable. And now, I almost felt like I got all the bragging and the nagging rights. You might be wondering, what about all the extra heat? 
that comes out due to fast charging. Well, true, super fast charging is like a double-edged sword. But, there is always a but. Thanks to the turbo cooler fan, ice, 13.0 cooling system that will make sure your Game Boy stays cool like Frozen Elsa and sucks up the extra heat produced due to super fast charging. Speakers. Surprisingly, one thing that stood out are the speakers. Loud, extra crisper, very detailed, high fidelity sound. To simply put, it got audio that brings visuals to life. Definitely nifty feature for notifications, so no more miss outs and no more regrets. Gaming. Amazing video quality with up to 120Hz refresh rate with no lags, no stutters whatsoever. Bright red groovy switch on the right, just toggle it and game space wires up where you can control all your gaming settings and preferences and obviously games. As per the Red Magic Company, 9 Pro claims number one spot on the N22 Android flagship rankings and passed with flying colors. Videos are so smooth and fluid and the touch triggers have a super high RT, very responsive in a heartbeat thanks to the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. I played games like Genshin, PUBG, MCOCs, GTA San Andreas, Hard Mobile and many more and I am absolutely loving it. RGB lighting on the back is very customizable and you can do singularity mode to a specific color to match your mood and whatnot. You can even do a few more RGB modes so feel free to definitely check it out. Cameras. On the back it got three cameras, 50 megapixel wide, 50 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro. It's Red Magic's first time ever optical anti-shake camera. There is always a first time for everything, isn't it? On the flip side, the front houses a UDC, aka under display camera, 16 megapixel with pixel size 1.12 micrometer and aperture 2.0. Camera has got smart AI features like facial tagging and whatnot. You can even do 4K video recording at 30 FPS slash 60 FPS. Overall, camera quality looks pretty decent given the fact you know it's a gaming phone. Red Magic Turbo Cooler 4 Pro fan accessory. 27 watt high power flagship cooler with ice 4.0 technology drops the temperature as low as minus 7 degrees celsius it supports rgb light effects semiconductor cooling technology the cooling power is automatically adjusted by the smart ai powered algorithm effectively stopping the device from heating up and increasing cooling efficiency by 20 percent yeah they added smart ai to it nice it got a mechanical button Single press to change mode and long press to change RGB lighting effects. It's compatible with any phone model with width of 70 to 85 mm. It got the signature mecha design and hardcore metallic texture. Screen casting on computer, monitor, TV and whatnot. You can connect to TV wirelessly via Zcast. I barely noticed any lagging and the video quality looked great surprisingly. You can even screencast the phone onto PC as long as you have installed the Red Magic Studio app on the PC. Phone pairing with PC is established after you scan the QR code available on the studio app. I was in utter shock by the amazing video and the sound quality with no lags. You can even record your games on the studio app and I'm that sure game streamers will love it. Not just that, you can even hardwire your phone to the PC for super massive gains in the RT. Thank you so much guys for making it to the very end of the video. I hope this video was very informative. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already yet. And also smash the like button. Really appreciate your support guys. Be kind and keep rocking. See you in the next one. Peace.